Well, my God, I want to compliment uh, Dr. O'Brien for bringing forward this motion here tonight. It's a very complex issue, and I worked on the Housing Committee with him, and I know how dedicated he is to it. And Deputy Collins is on the, uh, Deputy, I don't know who's on the Homeless Committee now, but we're talking about it and talking about it in reports and reports and reports. And you see, quick as we're trying to deal with the housing um, crisis, as, as Minister, um, uh, or as Mr. Deputy O'Donoghue said, you know, the, the cost, the taxation, the, what the government take out of the whole building a house is just uh, uh, ginormous. And we have to let that down. It has to be proper for a builder to build a house. No point blaming the builders and demonising them. It has to be. And the county councils must get back to building more houses. They've lost to wherewithal to build the houses. God, they built them in the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. I remember seeing 13, 40 men getting into the back of Halley's truck and out filling. You'd be arrested today if it happened, going from the Kilkenny to build houses. But they built them. They're in your city. Uh, Minister. So look, I want to pay tribute to the staff in my office, and as I'm sure all the officers, we do our best with the people, and there's cases that come across those, and Cathy in my office was leaving shortly to, to give birth to a, a child, please God, and going to maternity leave, but the work she does, and trying to deal with people, and it's very difficult. And the same with the housing staff in the council, it's very difficult for them, and it's, 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 as, as we're approaching, the, the, now look, I want to wish, thank them as well for the reference. It's very fraught, and it's very, very difficult. But we need a kind of, a, and as Father Peter might very here, and indeed Brother Kevin and all those, and the work that they do, and all those people involved, and the people go out to, to try and look after the homeless. But we're all these giants that are kind of pulling against each other. Natalie Colonel Kayla is my favourite slogan and attitude, so a lot more could be done. Bureaucracy has to be taken out of the situation, and to try to get planning to build a rural house, I have at least 10 couples who can build a house for themselves, who ha can get the mortgage, thankfully they have a job, and they could get the mortgage up to COVID anyway, but the banks aren't playing their part, and they're not, they can't get planning. And this herd mentality of herding them all into the towns, that's not working. The villages don't have the infrastructure, so we must look at the multifaceted and try and allow the people who can build their own houses to build them, now deal with the people who are going to be toughed out in the road, shopkeepers, publicans and all that have uh, been hit hard with, with, with COVID and we support them as best we can. But look, it's going to be difficult and challenging, but we need to have a more focus and less red tape. The red tape will stretch from here down to Tewing Downey Bay and across to Kilkenny and Wexford and back into the city again and wrap us all up in it and we have a smother with it. So we'll have to cut that, whether it's a hacksaw, a chainsaw or whatever we want to get to cut it and take, take, take that frustration out of the business and get back to building houses.